I have a model tower, do I just jam it on that peg? So Da Vinci had time to just make a straight up, like, well, I mean, what's essentially a video game? Not even a, not even really a board game with all the mechanisms involved. It's not really a video either, though, because of not being video. Success! Italy is yours. However, you now face a new challenge. The territory is located to the north and east of Italy. Prove your strategic thinking and conquer these territories into your kingdom. It'd be better if I knew the mechanics more, but I'm kind of just guessing a little bit. But okay. This is a bad camera angle. Okay, so... Am I... you? I'm not. I'm not this color. Okay, they have 351. I guess that's my final goal? Is the idea? 2512. Okay, let's go after the 20. Then the 28. And the 30. And the 47. Is there any, like, s systematic difference between, like, if I attack with this guy or that guy against them? Like, does it affect the outcome in any meaningful way? Some of them definitely share flags. Like, they're one army sharing... A combined total. You are doing well, and you show the abilities of a great commander. Go on to conquer the rest of Europe. Your goal is to reach Africa. I gotta say, this is a really condescending w uh, take on how good generals are, and so on. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not a great commander. I'm doing... I'm just matching numbers. Uh, oh, the, oh, right. Africa's over there. Or in that direction, at least. So I need to go finish the rest of Europe first, so I can take on Mr. 512. 143, 100. Pretty much just gonna, yeah, go over here. You have 300, so I'm doomed. But you have 143. 123 versus 300, 55, oop, 34. Oops. No. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna get in that groove. 266. No. There we go. 377. Nope. There we go. Oh wait, that's Africa. Because that's the rest of Asia. Right. I had to reorient a little bit. Are they that? Are they that close? I think they. Oh yeah, they are, aren't they? Seven hundred and ninety. Ah. There we go. They almost need like a different dead zone or something just for so you can make them go the right way. Can I go? No. Go over here. There we go. Wait. I s did I screw up? How did I get my numbers to suck so bad? 219. What are the rules? That's how we lose and start over. I need to figure out what the rules are of this game, apparently. So I have 175. That they have a hundred. The resulting number is two hundred and twenty-one. Is it the average? I don't think so. No, the average would have been like a hundred and thirty-two. But it's Let's, uh, lose on purpose real quick. There we go. Wait, nine? Oh, I didn't lose-lose. There we go, now I lost. All the way. Wait, what? I 
I'm bad at losing. I was trying to reset. I think you're trying to reset to the default state again. Now I've got six. There we go. Back to 175. So if we have 175 and they have 100, I, we combine to 221. So we gained not a lot. What, 49? 41? No, 40, 46. We gained 46 units from combining 175. I don't know if there's a mathematical relationship necessarily. Or if there is one, I don't know if I understand it. I don't know what determines how much you gain or lose. So at 288, do I go up or down? I went up, three, 330. I think the goal is just to be as as far away from the enemy's number as possible when you attack them, so you can gain the most without casualties. 349. So I, I think I am doing a slightly different order now than I did before. Yeah. Now, because now we outrank them in number. That's what happens. I went this way across the first time. Now I'm trending up way more because the enemies are so outnumbered that I'm just destroying them. And now I'm winning by nine. Okay. There was just a slightly smarter way to, to go around the country than, than I did the first time. That's the shield I put on the catapult, right? What do you want from me? How does this work mechanically? What am I trying to do here? Oh, I think I get it, kind of. There we go. I had to make this so they could both rotate, and then the, yeah, they, they both have like a, a partition sticking down. And you need to make the partition not overlap the edge of the cage so it can then slide out. And then there's the door that I saw from the light, the light bouncing off of it weirdly. There we go. Well, that was unexpected. I was going to play some variation of Risk. Uh, other side. A few things going on here. First, we have a key. An engraved crank. Never know. Usually it's a little more obvious than that, though. You can see inside there through the hole. Was there supposed to be a hole? You might just go in here. No? Or the key? Key probably goes right here. Am I supposed to use the crank on the opposite side? Because I think we... Didn't we crank the side but not the other side? But, uh... Huh. This crank's, like, way too big, right? It seems like it's big. 
We're looking for a big circular indentation. It was that big, so I don't think it fits in something that small. In fact, you can see the indentation hole right here. That's what the hole was I was looking at, which gives you an idea of how big of a hole we're looking for somewhere here. No, not on top of the tower. What's going on with these little guys? Does the gem go around here? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh no. You disappoint me. The Towers of Hanoi, really? We're doing the Towers of Hanoi? Oh, you disappoint me greatly. Don't use Towers of Hanoi on purpose in anything. What are you doing? I'm probably supposed to put them on the central one, aren't I? Crap. I might have just trapped myself in a bad way. No, because the bottom one needs to go up there, so it's actually probably for the best. Yeah. That was a goof. I goofed that. There we go. Stop putting Towers of Hanoi in your games! Or Pipe Dream, or Lights Out. <laughs> Dang it. There we go. Uh, did we... I think we're done, yeah. Uh, is that clipping through that? That's clipping the right through that is what it, yes it is. It's clipping through the tower. Uh, can I close these to, so I can feel better about myself? No? I can't close them? Oh, but it's clipping and it looks like awful and I feel bad. Did I not finish the rotation? Oh, maybe the point isn't supposed to find where to rotate it to. What is going on with the globes inside there? I'm not sure. Can I look at them? Ooh, maybe this will give me an idea of where to rotate to. There we go. There we go. I was hoping that the clipping wasn't the solution, because it looked so weird. But it was just... It just eventually clips if you rotate all the way because of the wingspan of this thing. Do I just fire again? Oh right, it, just, it's, it rolls where it needs to be. Uh, go. I'm lighting things on fire. What has Leonardo hidden under the, the baldachin? Ooh, look down there. Hello. Tetrahedron. It does not immediately appear like an interactive object. Likely just you jam it in somewhere, probably. Or it might be a reflection point for a beam of light, judging by its surfaces. They call this the Tetrahedron Gazebo. What's that? A rotate? Definitely standing out. These things look like they'll drop, but I don't think I do that. I think I, I think I activate the mechanism and then they all drop one by one as it's opening or something. Ooh. We have a sl uh, that's not a slot, that's a button. What? Where was that? I haven't even seen that yet. you just slide open? 
Oh, these guys. No. How do I... Maybe I have to use you? I can't rotate the camera. These things clearly have to be rotated so that the corners don't cover. It must be somewhere else. So each of these must open one by one as you solve some puzzle somewhere. Is there one of these I can drop right now, or do they all look like they're... They look... They all look the same. Ooh, up here. Was it the circle one that I... I think the circle one was the one that I just saw open when I did the other thing. Ah? Uh, ah? Uh? What do we have here? Four, two, one, three. But it's one, two, three, four. I would guess that there's some way... So... There's probably going to be a rotating dial here, and we're probably going to be able to slide them in here, and then rearrange them by sliding them in and out of this thing, as we did before with a few other mechanics. Is that the thing? The disc with grooves. That's like exactly what I was thinking we'd find. Okay. Four, two, one, three. Didn't really set that up correctly, but we get the one over here. Put the four has to be on the far side, which means that we need to put the four in here. Gotcha. That thing looks hefty as all hell. Don't drop that on your foot. And look at this thing at all? Like, is there something else going on here? The thing that opened looks neato, but I can't zoom in on some of the stuff. There's like a mechanism here, I think. I can't click on that, though. I think that's just the mechanism that activates from the from the tetrahedron being put in in the first place. There's like some internals going on here. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of this stuff is for me to futz with. It's just the internal mechanisms or something. I want a real one, but this would probably cost like $100,000 or something if it was real. I'm not even exaggerating, it's a nightmare. Oh, they didn't give me one this time, did they? The weird flat surface? That lacks secrets? It appears to lack secrets. Ooh. Oh, I see. Each thing that we're pulling down is currently locking this into place. This is also a puzzle box. When we get into this, this will be our next puzzle box after we get all the pieces solved. But they've trapped me, it seems. Now go over there. Oh, button. Oh. I see. Now we have a variation of this puzzle, where now instead of a single groove, we have a long groove, which means that the groove has more storage space, basically. Which does not result in the puzzle being more complicated at all. There we go. It is remarkable how much this feels like I'm playing The Room again. I wonder... 
I would guess that this this might be. I wonder if this is another developer that made their games for phone first, because everything about this interface matches the interface from the room. But the room was originally an iOS game, and I'm wondering if this game is also originally an iOS game that's also coming into Steam later, following with what worked with with the room. Oh, I need to close you. Because this is like a really blatant same formula. Although, I don't know what the roots are. If they're both originally phone games, I don't know which phone game came first, Da Vinci House or The or the Room. I'm just commenting on how incredibly familiar the, uh, the setup is. But I'm not complaining because I like it. It's cheaper than going to a real escape room. Hello? Thought I saw a button down there. Can I look at that? No? Gotcha. Okay, so first we need four. Oh, these can even slide around like this? Okay. Ah. That is a new problem. It has to face the correct direction, which means I need to rotate it the correct way, which means I actually want to rotate it twice, probably. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Let's, I'm gonna store one down here. Or I can go on the left, too. I wanna store it somewhere where it can be separate from the other ones, because it's already facing the correct direction. I think I need to rotate everything a certain number of times to make it fit the right way. Like so. Well, that worked out. I thought that might actually turn out to be incredibly complicated. Whoa. Uh... What are you? This shape's bizarre looking. I imagine that it just reforms into a different shape, though. Ah. The dodecahedron! Now we're set. Oh! God, I was in this giant room. Take me back. There you go. No visual reveal? You must open, right? Oh, the other side. Ah, it's one-to-one. -one. I thought they might be rotated in comparison to each other and I'd have to compensate for that. A wrench with a crosshead. Oh, yeah. How long does it take to put everything back when you're done? <laughs> Oh, you're a little Rubik'sy looking, aren't you? Oh, you're downright dreadful. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, that seemed way more complicated than it actually was. I had the actual thought of like, is the gazebo about to poop something out? All right, we got a metal ram's head and a, a gear of some kind. Goodbye. How much internal machinery is there in there? This one didn't go down all the way. Was that supposed to happen? Oh, it couldn't because the door is open in front of it. I'm not sure I'd do anything here. Can I go up top? No. I appear to be missing something. No, I, I want to look at the top. <laughs> I want to look at it from above. But your options are kind of limited. In particular, I find myself missing the nice way that they handled things in... Like, a, a nice thing about the room is that when you were locked onto an object, you'd rotate around it. But I'm standing physically over here, and I have to, like, look around from here, and it's like... But, like, all these directions are useless. So there's no reason to look in these directions, I think. Whereas when I'm like this, I'm rotating. But there's an intermediate step where I'm locked to the table, but I can't rotate around the table the way I'd like to. A ram's head. Is that from a previous thing? Now it's a battering ram. Oh. Whoa. Engraved metal handle. Well, that got cool. Ah. That looks nicer. I am betting the metal handle fits perfectly into the top part. Aha. Oh, I thought that was a puzzle box. Oh, that's a puzzle box. There's a puzzle box inside the puzzle box inside the puzzle box inside the puzzle box. Terrifying. There's a rope? Oh, you don't pull on it? Curious. Maybe you burn it. Maybe it's holding something closed. We can't see past the wall. There's no x-ray going on here. Yeah, I think the rope is just holding it closed. So, and this will slide out that way if you let if you can unattach it or or this will open as a whole lid so I need to get the fire on it What's going on over here that's a little puzzle thing there's a square shaped slot on the top we have a keyhole in the front but all I have available to me right now is a spare gear, and I don't think that fits here. Can I physically untie the knot? Is that too easy? What is interactive here? Ooh, maybe the, the nope. Oh, that one. That tower's that tower's got a different top. Can't look at it. What's going on there? I see that. Maybe it comes up later because that tower has a little like rock top or something, where the other ones are clearly different. Let's look up and down the different parts of it with this X-ray vision and see if something crops up. A 
I'm not seeing much. Ooh, the base has a back. There we go. Yeah, the base had a little socket missing out of it. What, are these gonna move? Uh... Okay. Why, though? <laughs> Why am I doing this? I'm trying to make them both go forward, but I... Sometimes I try to rotate the thing and I grab one of them. Um... Why? What does it affect when I do that? I can see inside and they are strangely hollow and I'm wondering about that too. I can point them backwards. Maybe this is the chance for this. Like a symbol has to line up. You can't go past this point. You can't make it go any lower. There, there are these strange dots, and this almost looks like it overlaps two of them, and it almost makes me wonder if I'm supposed to make the other one overlap the other two or something, but... I don't think that works that way. Now, I'm likely missing something. I'm, I'm surprised the back one's not moving, because that's the one that's got a weird tip. And that's the one that stands out like crazy. There's also a seam right here, so you can tell the top of the entire castle is going to open.